if you really want to know the truth, this whole thing is a machine. This reality does not care what you create. If you want to create something not so nice, yeah, fine. The reality will reflect something not so nice. If you want to create something nice, yeah, fine. <laughs> reality will create something nice. It's all depending on what you're projecting outward. It really is just a bioreflection machine. It doesn't care what you create. And you have to decide that you want to create something nice in order to create something nice. And the way you do that is you adjust the inner landscape, that which is within you, in order to change what is outside of you. If you don't change the inner landscape, no matter what efforts you put on the outside, no matter what visualizations and affirmations you do, it's not going to change what's outside of you until what's inside of you changes the inner landscape. For instance, if you want people to treat you well, if you want people to treat you with respect, they want you want people to love you, then you have to put that out there. You have to put out there that you are a person who is treated with respect, a person who's treated nice, a person who's loved. You have to put that out there. It, it really is that simple. It really is that simple. You might not think that it's that simple. Like you might think you have to fix things, you have to fix yourself. It's not about fixing. It's about reprogramming, yes, but that's not about fixing. That's literally just removing programs that don't work for you anymore and putting new programs in. Healing is about letting go. And I've talked about this in other videos, that it's not about fixing yourself. It's about letting go of that which isn't natural, that which doesn't work for you. It really is that simple. <laughs> if only we knew before we started the spiritual path, before we went on this path of self-healing, before we tried so hard to make our lives different, if only we knew it really was about the inner landscape. So take a look at your inner landscape right now. Just take a little mental snapshot. How does your inner landscape look? Is it beautiful? Is it nice? Do you hold lovely emotions? Do you only let your thoughts go to things that are lovely? If not, then this is what you have to reprogram yourself to do. Even this human condition is sort of like a machine. And it was programmed early on in your childhood. It was programmed by your experiences. It was programmed by what you believe. It was programmed by what you accepted as reality and decided that reality was all about and decided what reality was. That was what gave you the programs that you hold. So now you have to change your mind about reality. <laughs> It really is that simple. I, I keep saying it really is that simple. It, it might not feel so simple because it's a lot of work. It's hard work and it takes a lot of in, intention. It takes a lot of effort to change what it is you believe about reality, to reprogram yourself. I know I did it and I'm still doing it. It's a lifetime process. <laughs> it never stops. And it's all about deciding, choosing what you want to experience. You're not just a leaf bumping along down the river, on the rocks, getting tossed here and there by life. It actually is that you are choosing what you want to experience. And you might have gotten in the habit of choosing stuff that isn't so great for you, choosing things that don't make you happy. You might be in that habit but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to keep doing that. You can change what you decide you're gonna experience. And you do that by changing how you think, how you feel, and what you hold inside. Whether you're going to look at yourself as a beautiful being or look at yourself as damaged. Some people have really identified with being damaged. 
and walk around. I am a damaged person and I have to fix myself. I am a damaged person and I have to fix things. And some people never even leave that belief or that thought form. But that's the belief and thought form you have to leave in order to not have re reality reflecting back to you that you're damaged and you need to fix things. <laughs> Do you see how it's a catch-22? It, it goes around in circles until finally you just stop going around in circles. You say, you know what? I'm leaving this consciousness loop and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create something different now. And that's what you have to decide. So think of it more about deciding what you decide you want to experience rather than just hoping that something will change. Hoping that maybe if you do enough of this or if you do enough of that, if you meditate long enough, if you uh, put yourself in the right places, even that is not going to change your outer reality if the inner landscape is still holding a certain something. <laughs> I don't want to get too specific here because this is going to relate to all kinds of people with all kinds of beliefs and thought forms and all kinds of people holding different programs. But what you have to do here is look at what your programming is. What is it that you believe? What is it that you think reality is? What is it that you think is stuck and that you cannot get to be different? What you have to do is look inside and see where you are stuck, where you are not moving, where you are not able to change what it is that you believe. Why don't you just start by throwing out all the beliefs that you have about reality right now if you're not happy with the reality that you have? If you believe that you're not lovable, it's time to just throw that out and say, well, I'm going to try something different now. I'm just going to try this I am lovable thing for a little while and see if anything changes. It really is a choice like that. I'm not going to think about my past anymore, about how I was unloved. I'm not going to think about this person anymore about how, and how I was unloved by that person. I'm not going to think about all the times I was unlovable, even if maybe you were a little bit of a jerk and you were unlovable. <laughs> that doesn't have to be how you are all the time, and it probably isn't how you're all, how you are all the time. Sometimes you're very lovable, right? But that's the part of yourself that you want to have take the stage more often than the part that's unlovable. <clears throat> For instance, if you do things that make a person not love you, then stop doing those things. If someone says something about a boundary that they have, honor that boundary. See how to work it out. Find a compromise. This is what an adult would do is to honor the other person's request. If, say, you're late all the time, then you might want to start trying to be on time so you guys can have a harmonious relationship. It really is that easy. And if you are a person who just walks around feeling that you're unlovable because you were unlovable in the past, erase the past. Act like you just got here, just got off a spaceship, and this is your only day to have a life on the Earth, and you're just lovable because you are. <laughs> I mean, you are God dreaming. How much more lovable can you get than that? How much more intelligent can you get from that? How much more important and self-worth, how much more self-worth can you get than that? You know, you are the center of the universe from God's point of view, looking through you out into this reality. So change what you believe about reality. Change what you think of yourself. Stop calling yourself damaged. Stop calling yourself unhealed and I need healing. You are perfect, beautiful, divine God self. This is who you really are. And really what it's about is removing all the things that are in the way of being that self. That's really what healing is about. And you remove by the reprogramming strategies. Affirmations work really good in that way 
For instance, I don't use affirmations to put onto reality what I want. I don't use affirmations in an outward way. I only use affirmations for reprogramming. That's it. Because affirmations don't work if you're projecting onto a reality, but you haven't changed the inner landscape. You haven't changed the programming. This really is the key, and this is what a lot of people don't understand about the manifesting techniques that are taught in so many of the books and so many of the manifesting courses. It's not talking about how you have to change yourself. And then reality just has to automatically re rearrange itself because it's a mirror. It, it can't lie. If you look like crap <laughs> inside, the reality is going to show you that from the outside. If you look beautiful on the inside and you think of yourself as beautiful on the inside, reality is going to reflect that through people, through situations, through places, through things. It's going to reflect that. So it's up to you to decide what you want, to decide that you're going to choose a different strategy now. You're going to work on the inner self. And even if you don't believe it yet, just keep telling yourself how lovable you are. Make that your affirmation because that's the proof. I am unlovable is being replaced with I am lovable. You're literally just re erasing and replacing the program. That's really all there is to it, to manifesting a good life. It really is all there is to it. You have to simply change what's inside and reality, since it's a machine that reflects the projections of consciousness, it has to change. And it'll change on its own. You don't have to actually do much. Just keep changing yourself and everything else will rearrange itself as you change. <laughs> so good luck with just making the choice to choose what it is you want and be it. That's it. Just choose what you want to be, be it, and then the, the reality has to reflect that because it's a machine. It just reflects. It doesn't manipulate your creation whatsoever. You are the one who manipulates your creation. You're the one who changes your creation. You're the one who makes your creation what it is. So create that you're lovable. Create that you're beautiful. Create that you're lucky. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, affirmation, I am lucky. That created a lot of luck in my life. It created a lot of opportunities that might not have come in otherwise. Just I was expecting the unexpected. And by adjusting that self, in, adjusting that within myself, it made reality bring me lucky opportunities and lucky strokes and lucky things. Literally, you are programming the machine to reflect by programming this machine, the human self, the human condition. Now, let's face it, there's a lot of machinery going on in here. There's a lot of programming that's going on. And you can decide, hmm, which program do I want? Well, I think I'm gonna choose a good one. Okay, which program am I gonna choose? All right, let's write this program down. And then begin to program yourself. It takes about 60 days to break a habit, a, long, a little longer for an emotional habit, but you'll start seeing results in two weeks. If you get one of those uh, downloading, download one of those repeating alarms on your phone, and set it to go off every hour and adjust, adjust, adjust every hour, every half hour in the beginning, but you'll get tired of it in every half an hour. Try to do every hour. That seems to be the sweet zone that I found because hours seem to go by pretty quick. <laughs> so choose what it is that you want and then adjust the inner landscape. That's easy, it costs nothing. It just takes some effort and it takes a little time not much, it really doesn't take that much time. 60 days is what it takes to create a new habit of emotions and thoughts. And it takes about six months to a year to make it solid. So, and then you could just say goodbye to that old program. It's not gonna come back anymore. 
It takes about six months to a year to get it to that point. But you will see immediate results, I promise. All right, tell me in the comments what results you have when you do this. And if you've already done things like this, if you've already done some, some reprogramming and saw the results, tell me about it in the comments. I would love to talk about that with you and uh, love to hear your reports. All right, hasta pronto, ciao.